Be silent for Lord Fuse! It is decreed that all women of childbearing age will be taken before the Emperor's silver, so that he may choose a new wife. Any man or woman found impeding this order will be charged with treason and sentenced to immediate execution. You abuse your power. This is a violation of our rights. What rights? You belong to the Emperor. He will do as he pleases. Guards, seize the women! No! Not her! Be patient, William. Our time will come. I trust no one else has a problem, because I've indulged your whining long enough. Guards, you have your orders. Move the women to the galleon now! Search the outskirts of town and ensure that no one attempts to evade their duty. You're late. We need to practice. You need to practice. Are you in such a hurry to be beaten, Grandfather? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm constantly disappointed. But at least my student has confidence. Now, go into the house and get your blade. Amaze me with your swordsmanship. Oh, I didn't hear you get up. I wanted to practice with Grandfather. But you look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Have you eaten? You'll need to keep healthy to have any chance of beating him. I will. Good luck with practice. Thanks. But I really think I'll win this time. I'm sure you will. Now we can begin. Hold your sword ready and never take your eyes off your opponent. We'll start with some basic moves that will ease you into combat. Now you try. Good. I see I'll have to provide you with more of a challenge. Next, we should try the lunge. When performed well, this move is deadly. Good! A powerful movement. You learn quickly. Now, a swipe requires a little more skill than a lunge, but less accuracy. Stand fast, and in one swift move, swipe hard to your right. Like this. Very elegant. I hope your opponents appreciate such artistry. They'll have no choice. It'll be the last thing they ever see. Always consider your assailant's position. This will help determine whether you perform the right swipe or readjust your stance and swipe left. Good. Now we'll try a different approach. One-on-one -on -one combat is rare. It's more likely that you'll face several assailants at any one time. So you have to be prepared for anything. And this move is vital. Very few of your opponents will have any pride, and would rather leap at you from behind than face you directly. Learn this move well. Good! Your offensive training is complete. Now you must learn to defend yourself. Your shield is invaluable when countering attacks. Use it well. You defend yourself well. Your training is complete. Get ready to fight, and show me just how good I am. Who's winning? I am. I haven't warmed up yet. 
You're young. It just takes me a little longer to get going. Then I'll leave you be. Besides, I have the washing to do. Fuge! Tell me, are you still your father's lapdog? Don't you ever learn. I should have dealt with you years ago. You're fortunate that I have more important matters to deal with. Your Emperor Silver requires a new wife. He may even choose this delicate creature. And then again, if my father isn't interested, I may take her for myself. I would kill you first. Steady, lad. Listen to the old man. Your wife is such beauty, and I've gained so little pleasure from destroying it. Take her away. I love you, David. How touching. Women are far too weak. Then the men who prey on them must be cowards. Why are you in such a hurry to die? Guards, Stay here and see that they get their wish. Hurry! We must go after Jennifer now. It looked like they were heading south, towards the harbor. Let's go! We're wasting time! If we don't hurry, we may be too late. There they are. Come on, after them. We're too late. This time, but we will get her back. Please, they've taken our daughter. You have to help us. We're old and can offer you little, but... Don't worry. We'll help you all we can. Did you see or hear anything that may be useful? Do you know where they're headed? All the women were forced in the galleon. Fuge and some of his guards got into a smaller vessel. And both ships sailed off in different directions. Unfortunately, I don't know where either one is bound, sorry. Where are all the villagers? Or all the angry husbands? Some of the men have already banded together. They took their weapons and left in the direction of Haven. Will she be all right? They won't hurt her, will they? She's all we've got. I couldn't cope if they... <laughs> She'll be all right, love. She'll be all right. Come on. I'll take you home. Fuge is evil. His father has taught him well. Come on. Haven may hold the arm... I am the Chronicler, 
I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. Haven's Gates. They were built by an ancient race to protect their city from evil. Legends say only the pure of heart may enter. Well, there's only one way to find out if that's true. Come on, lad. If a wicked old man like me can get through, you'll have no problem. But what if my hatred for Silver betrays me? David, he's taken your wife. Your anger is justified. I hope you're right. You! After them! He must have known he would die. Yes, but the punishment for refusing an order would have been far less merciful. Come on! The rebels can't be too far now. <laughs> I'm not putting one foot back in there. Not unless I can see if it's likely to get bitten off. Don't worry. I doubt any beast would be depraved enough to eat your feet. Nevertheless, it wouldn't be wise to enter, not until we see what lives in there. This place is too quiet. Did you hear that? First it's too quiet, now it's noises that worry you. It's probably just a couple of larks, nothing to worry about. Strange sounding larks. So, I'm no authority on the call of that particular breed. Come on! Let's take him! I don't think that would be wise. We'd be slashed to pieces. You would do well to listen to the old man. Show yourself! Only a coward would hide behind his men. What fool calls me a coward when my men surround him? Please, we're not here to fight. We need your help. You must forgive my grandson's somewhat impetuous introduction. He is eager and hot-headed, but no fool. And why should we help you? Fuge has taken my wife on his galleon, and I intend to find her. With 
or without your help. Bold words. Your confidence is admirable, if not a little naive. Come to our camp. We have the same objectives and we'll help you all we can. But without the exact location of the galleon, what can we do? You'll discover that soon enough. As you can see, you are mostly just farmers and traders, humble people whose wives, daughters, and sisters have been ripped away. A fight has forced us together and compelled us to fight. You're welcome here. Feel free to look around. You implied that you might know how to find the ship? You waste a little time. That's good. There's a cave that leads to the Great Library at No. The library is reputed to house a very powerful telescope. This should show you where the galleon is heading. Won't you be coming with us? No. We'll stay and plan our next attack. We should hurry. The ship could sail out of the telescope's range. Did Fuge take your wife? Camille. We were due to be married until they stole her from me. I'll get her back. No matter what. I know you're thinking about Jennifer, but we will find her. Training to fight Fuge on your own? If I have to. How old are you? Old enough to know when my mother needs me. My father and I are the only hope she has. I'm sorry, but I'd really like time to practice. So this is the Great Library of No. Do you know much about this place? The library was once a school that taught the magical arts. But since Silver outlawed magic, the school has been closed. Something seems wrong. <coughs> Who, or rather what, were they? They appeared to be some type of imp. They looked devilish. Be wary. But they are small, insignificant against our swords. And if there are a hundred more imps inside? I'll destroy them all. We'd better hurry then. I'm not as young as I used to be. I can't force the door open. Step aside. Let me try. Fortunately for you, I must have stressed the lock when I forced the door myself. Yes, Grandfather. Somebody? Anybody? Help me! Hey, wait there! 
Sorry, I quite forgot myself. How rude I must seem. Thank you for helping me with those, uh, those creatures. How could I ever repay you? Well, the Duke led us to believe that there is a telescope within the library. If you could help us locate it, we would be very grateful. Yes, yes, of course. There is a telescope in the observatory that's right at the top of the library. Oh, uh, but but what? To Rona's the Diabolist is there. I'm sure he'd help, but he can't be quite uncivil. And unfortunately now isn't a good time. I'm afraid he's unwittingly opened a portal to another dimension, allowing those little imps you so efficiently disposed of to enter ours. He must close it before we're completely overrun. If necessary, we could help close the portal. As long as we locate Jennifer and the ship first. Please, just be careful. This Tyronus character could prove to be an important ally. He has an imposing demeanor, but I'm sure he'll help you with the telescope. What about you? You're not equipped for confrontation, and I'm afraid you'll be perfect target practice. I, I must admit, I do have a tendency to panic when taken by surprise, but I can run quite fast. I'll be fine. I'll try to be of some use and run for help. That's the second time the Yellow Imp has run away. Yes, his color appears to be his only bold characteristic. He may prove to be more trouble than we think. There's no harm in keeping vigilant. I defeated your playmates, didn't I? You insult me! Those illiterate barbarians had nothing to do with me!
Thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, but please try to calm yourself a little. Yes. Yes, of course. I, I'm fine. Uh, sorry, where are my manners? Professor Whittle, philosopher of life and ponderer of all unanswered questions, pleased to meet you. They get everywhere, don't they? Pesky devils. <laughs> but the flying imps are the worst, especially if they get in close. Much better to get them before they get near, don't you think? You should go. I fear your staying here will only place you in even more danger. But what about you? Will you be all right on your own? Oh, please, don't worry about me. You've done more than enough as it is. Well, go on then. Tell Spare me, please! I'll make it worth your while. I'll take you to my sacred place. My secret hoard! <laughs> Why would you show us your treasure? You spared my life! I'm grateful! Now, please, go quickly! Hurry! We'll have to get past those guards!
I could never let you have my treasure! You don't deserve it! It's mine! All mine! Your adventure. Obviously, size isn't everything. Feeble little imps with their ineffectual little punches. Well... You weren't very much help, were you? You seem to have... Yes, yes, whatever. Now quick, what do you want? My time is precious. I'm David, and this is my grandfather. I have neither the time nor the inclination for tedious introductions. Uh, well, we were hoping you'd be able to help us operate the telescope. Then I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. I couldn't help you use the telescope even if I was suitably inclined to do so. But we were led to believe that you would. Ordinarily, yes, but the telescope is powered by an old boiler situated in the caves beneath the library. Unfortunately, this hasn't had power since, uh, since I have misguidedly opened up a portal into a demonic dimension. <laughs> the caves are being used as a lair by a rather formidable demon. The demon acts as a nexus, a link between our two worlds. Kill him, and the connection will break. Only then will the portal close. Could you take us to the caves? I could, but there's something you'll need first. Follow me. Come on, you'll have to be a lot quicker than this. Come on, quick, look at the chest. Why? What's in it? Something very special. I think you'll find it rather inspiring. I'm sure you'll make good use of it. It's relatively foolproof. Why? What is it? It's an ice wand. Fortunately, I've not had to use it myself, but if used correctly, it's very powerful. Are you coming or not? Where to? Back to the entrance hall. Please hurry, I have no patience for time wasters. You have no patience at all. Excuse me? I thought you required help, not cosseting. Hurry! Before the teleport closes! Come on then. No, no. I'll leave this magic malarkey to you. I'd feel much better using my own two feet. Where's your grandfather? He decided to walk. He's wary of anything magical. He doesn't trust anything he doesn't understand. I suppose it does take a superior intellect to decipher the complexities of magic. <laughs> Talking of magic, what seals that door? Oh yes, that. I had to use one of my spells to minimize the spreading imp infestation. 
Hurry. We've wasted too much time already. The caves are this way. So, this is where you've been hiding. It's ironic that it's duty that finally compels me to finish what I started all those years ago. What does he mean? This is the second time he's mentioned your past. David, please go! Now is not the time! Listen to your grandfather. We should leave before it's too late. You're not going anywhere. You're charged with treason against your emperor, and the mandatory sentence is death. Guards, kill them. I see you're not quite as decrepit as you look, old man. I'll just have to kill you myself. David, run! No! No! Your grandfather was no real challenge. I will take greater time and pleasure in killing you. David, don't let him go to you. Your grandfather's already dead. If you stay and fight, his death means nothing. For Fuge will kill you too. That's it. Run like the coward I know you to be. I can't believe he's dead. He should be at my side. I'm not very good at things that require sympathy and understanding. I've never really had anyone close, but I'm sure he's with you somewhere. Well, Grandfather, if you are, I promise you this. Fuge will die by my sword. Vengeance will be my power. Dear me, the imp infestation is escalating out of control. I should reevaluate my calculation methods. Taronis, I really don't think now is the appropriate time for readjusting multiplications. You left me to fight the imps alone. You just stood there and watched. Surely you're not suggesting I use my magic for any purpose other than self-defense. Well, in between getting kicked and punched, yes, yes, it did cross my mind. It would be morally corrupt of me to use magic for anything other than safeguarding my own well-being. Didn't you find it even slightly immoral to do nothing while I risk my life defending us? No. Tell me. I'll wait out here. But you could. Don't worry. You know me. Anything to help. Think nothing of it. Now hurry up. I'll be fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
This should be easy enough. If you say so. But please hurry, the lift is just through those doors. Use this lift, it will take you down into the heart of the caves. Well, David, good luck. What? Aren't you coming with me? I'm sorry, I can't. One of us has to stay and pull the lever. Go on, you'll be fine without me. Well, I've managed so far on my own. But what about the demon? Did I say demon? <laughs> no, he's more like a... I can, um, incubus? Now hurry and get in the lift! What's an incubus? Oh, I it's, um, a demon. <clears throat> what did you say? Nothing. Bye. Hello? Is there anybody there? No. Go away, strange creature. No one be living here. Don't worry. The imps have gone. They were wanting to hurt the old janitor. Is that what you be wanting? No, no, of course not. I just need you to start the boiler. Can't. Too many bad creatures. They make the janitor scared. If I get rid of all the creatures, would you start it then? Me would. You'd be nice to the old janitor. Would you like this? I, I found it out there. It's a key. Thanks. No pleasure. Any time. Ah! <laughs> 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 
What kind of stench-ridden excuse for a demon are you? You are foul! Hey, Doc! Who's the elf? Surely you wouldn't use your sword to puncture my innocent wee friend. You'd never hurt anyone, would you, Frick? He's an outcast, just like me. Abandoned. No longer able to call himself an imp. Because of his amiable nature? Or his soap-starved view of personal hygiene. He was exiled as a punishment for helping me. Does he really smell that bad? We've been on our own far too long. Tell me, why you're here? These caves are very dangerous. Not somewhere you'd just wander into. I'm going to slay the demon. Well, from what we think tells me, he's quite menacing. I've never actually seen him. I don't dare leave my room. Unfortunately, the demon needs the heat of his lair. If these caves are so dangerous, why are you here at all? I'm an alchemist. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh, 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 happy boom. The other professors got a wee bit sick of the noise, and so they banished me to the caves. Here there's only myself, Frink, and a few undesirable demons that I could possibly blow up. If you'd like some, I have my most potent elixir in that storeroom there. And don't fret, Frank tested it himself. Yes, in spite of your reassurance, I would like some. Hang on just a wee moment. Oh, dearie, dearie me, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I've lost the key. You're a wee wonder. You've managed to open the door. Back so soon. Is he dead? Have you killed- Not yet. Then you're wasting time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Too late. Don't be a fool. Look around you. Of course we're too late. Taronis told us about your grandfather. I'm sorry. Thank you. But now I just want to get back to the telescope as quickly as possible. What? Well, come on then. What are we waiting for? You two stay here with the professor. Some of the imps may still be lurking within the smaller caves. Then the telescope's up there. What are you waiting for? Are you this pushy with everyone? No, just you. The ship is sailing at speed towards rain. Then we have no time to waste. We must return to Haven. There we can devise a plan to intercept the Galleon. We have no time for plans. We should go to Rain now. No, it's mistakes we have no time for. If we charge to Rain ill-equipped, we face certain death. The Galleon will be heavily guarded and we need more men. Okay, but we must hurry. Thank you for all your help, Taronis, but I'm sure you're anxious for the restoration of peace to your library. So we'll bid you well and take our leave. Well, good luck. Take care, David. Godspeed. Early indications from the advance guard verifies a large presence of Silver's troops in the city of Rain. A significant number of these will be concentrated in and around the dockside area securing the women. We're not equipped for a seaborne assault. We'll have to battle our way through the city. No, a head-on attack would be suicidal. Their force is far superior to ours, and they outnumber us five to one. We have no choice. We cannot improve our armory or increase our numbers. No, but we can ensure that we take full advantage of the resources we do have and disperse them appropriately. We should split up into smaller groups and attack key areas simultaneously. Surely we're stronger as one large body of men. Not necessarily. If we separate into pairs, we can secure a wider area and filter through the city largely undetected. I agree, but I think we should regroup at the docks to safeguard the women together. Okay, then. 
I presume no one else has anything new to add. Then I suggest we proceed to rain as quickly as possible. William, you come with me. Clay, it's best if Richard stays with you. John, you go with Ben. Oh, how come I get Ben? Why can't I go with Sukuni? You should be grateful. You could have been stuck with Fat Bob. Yeah, what about me? Who's my partner? You have your food. And finally, Sukuni, you take David with you. Good luck. Don't worry, David. I'll protect you. He looks injured. Come on, he needs our help, and quickly.
Tell me. The galleon should be here. Where is it? We've missed it. It must have left before low tide. Surely you considered this possibility. There was nothing more we could have done. We could have got here sooner. Yes, we should never have gone back to Haven. We wasted too much time. We needed reinforcements. But what good are they now? You do what you want. I'll get Camille back myself. William, I know you're upset. Upset? I think we should just let him go. He needs to calm down. We all do. Silva will send more guards. They'll be here soon. We have no choice but to go back to Haven. For reasons outside my scope of interest, Dr. Bozuki was insistent that you should join him at the Temple of the Oracle as soon as possible. Is there anything wrong? Did I not just explain that? I don't know because I don't care! This must be important. Bazuki wouldn't waste our time. Yes, we should hurry. Attend to the men. Ensure they are all rested and well fed. They're gonna need it. Oh. Mm. After you've taken your own fill, naturally. At last! Why? What is it? I don't have the time to explain. Come on, the Oracle is about to waken. The Oracle? If Bazuki is right, we should hurry. The Oracle is a divine, all-seeing presence. But only sinister omens rouse him into visible form. Where is... Maybe we've missed it. I am the All-Seeing Oracle. Ask me what you will. But you have only four questions. Choose wisely. Your appearance here signifies danger. But what is the nature of the impending threat? An evil sorcerer named Silver. But we already know of Silver's evil. Do you have nothing new to tell us? You are ignorant of Silver's true motives and the extreme implications of his actions. Silver covets power and is striving to appease the chaotic god Apocalypse to attain it. If he succeeds, he will become an emissary of darkness, rewarded with the unimaginable powers of destruction to enforce Apocalypse's commands. He will lead this realm to its grave. How can we stop him? Even without the power of darkness, 
Silver's evil is too potent. No mortal can defeat him. However, a long-dead civilization vanquished a similar threat 300 decades ago. They created eight mystical orbs, each one forged with unique magical properties designed to neutralize the forces of evil. But their true power is only unleashed when they are combined. Where can we find these orbs? That was your last question, so I must restrict my answer to the location of the first orb. For the last hundred decades, a wizard named Othias has lived as a hermit in the city of Rain. He is wary of strangers and is loath to speak to anyone, but you will find the first orb with him. Take this horn. It will counter the magic he uses to lock the entrance to his tower. Now, if you would leave, I must return to my slumber. We need to discover how Silver is planning to appease this god Apocalypse. I agree, but first we need to secure all the orbs. David, you go to Rain and find Athias. I'll go back to the camp and order my men to obstruct Silver and his hordes wherever possible. What of the remaining seven orbs? How will we find them? If Athias has the first, he may know the whereabouts of the others. Maybe, but if they're as powerful as we hope them to be... Athias will not relinquish his orb or any information freely. I'm charming. How could he refuse? Well, I don't want to get too distracted by your irresistible charisma, so I'll take my leave. But first, take this map. It details the whole province. And if you ever need me, just come to the camp. I thought you could use the skill and expertise of a true warrior. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Tell me! If you weren't one of my potions, <clears throat> due to my unconditioned... How we of a gratuity? I'm a fair man. I'd ask you for nothing but the cost of the ingredients. Interested? I'd like to, but at the moment even the weas gratuity is beyond my means. Don't fret, laddie. I have a sample here you can have for free. And I'll always be here if you need me. After all, there's nowhere else for Frink and I to go. Now, shouldn't you be on your way? I've kept you long enough. My name is David. Excuse my intrusion, but... What is your purpose, stranger? I did not sanction your entry and so consider you hostile. Wait! My intentions are virtuous. I give you my word. How can I value the word of an intruder and potential thief? I'm no thief, and I gained entry with a magical horn given to me by the Oracle. He's aware of your aversion to visitors, but thought it necessary in such grave circumstances. I know of the Oracle's gift of foresight. Speak. Tell me of these circumstances. 
Silver intends to harness the dark power of the god Apocalypse. We need the eight mystical orbs to stop him. I've feared the possibility of such a danger for many years. Take it. The orb is yours. I'm trusting that you will use it wisely. And please keep it safe from the hands of darkness. Before you return my solitude, look through my chest. I have collected many things throughout my mortal life. You may find something of use. Please stop this. You're hurting me. Guards are temperamental and often callous, but I've never seen them attack a defenseless old lady before. I'm afraid they're unrelenting. Ever since little Jimmy. Who's little Jimmy? My son. They took him from me nearly 30 years ago. Who did? Silver's guards. Jimmy stole one of their helmets. It was just a childish prank. He would have given it back. The Magistrate said it was a profane act of treason, and sent him away. He was just a boy. I've tried to find him, but they won't tell me anything. They just taunt me. Silver thrives on people's misery. He's taken my wife, Jennifer. So you understand how I feel. I'm already indebted to you, but 
Could you find it in your heart to look for little Jimmy while you search for your wife? You're my only hope. We don't even know what he looks like. Here, take this. It was his favorite teddy. It's the only thing I have left. I know he would recognize it. Please, I beg you. We'll try. Thank you. Why do you waste our time here when I'm... Have you come back not a fortune, but enough to see my list? Is it because you're w Your advent. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, let's go. We still have six orbs left to find. You must be David. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you. But who are you? Oh, I'm just a runner. Professor Velding heard of your search for the orbs and believes he has some key information. He said he'd wait for you in the entrance at the library at No. Ooh, good luck! Tell me of your...